Hey guys, what is up? It is the Fast Break Report here bringing you guys another vlog. So I was going to talk about the um, Denver Nuggets versus Miami Heat game last night, but it was game one and Miami played pretty bad. I'm just going to call it what it is. Like they didn't play great. Uh, Denver was obviously the better team in game one. Uh, so like, I, I really don't know what much more I want to say about it. Like it was, it was pretty much Denver and only Denver throughout the entire game. Um, but I do want to talk about something a little different. That's something Adam Silver said before the finals, um, in a press conference. And that was about John ja Morant. Um, Adam Silver was asked about John ja Morant and, uh, he specifically said that we have uncovered additional information um, the league investigated the this incident, and I'm assuming they investigated a lot of the other alleged incidents, um, the threatening of a Foot Locker employee. Um, you know, I, I'm a, I have a feeling they investigated the assault on a 17 year old. I, I feel like the league is really gonna like drop the hammer on John Morant. Um, I don't think it was just brandishing a gun that they looked into. I, I know that's what he got in trouble for. But I feel like Adam Silver, you know, knows about all the reports that came out and said, you know what? He didn't learn the first time. We're going to drop the hammer the second time. And I have a feeling they're not only going to find John Morant, like probably upwards of a million dollars, but I also think that they just might ban him for the entire season next year. Um, it seems as if he didn't learn the first time around and... You know, I think Shannon Sharp put it best when he said John Morant is hustling backwards. And what he means by that is John Morant has finally made it as, a, as you know, he's a made man. He's worth going to, he's got a contract extension that kicks in next year for upwards of $200 million. Um, and he's, he, for whatever reason, wants to go back to the hood. He, he wants to be seen as like a fucking gangster and all this other shit. And, um, you know, looking into it with his parents, it doesn't seem like his parents are really the best influence in the world. Um, his dad, uh, I think his name is T. Morant. I could be wrong about that. Don't quote me. But um, his father just seems to enjoy rubbing, el uh, rubbing elbows with, you know, Jack Nichols and uh, all these other guys at, at, on the sidelines at Grizzlies games. And his, his mother puts him in situations to basically be put in this situation. Um, she puts him in situations where he shouldn't be in. Uh, and it's like, I, I, I kind of wonder, like, does his mother, like, really want him to be successful? Like, the reason I say that is because his mother has now on two occasions put him in a situation where it could jeopardize his career. Um, you know, the, there was, uh, one thing with a, a Foot Locker employee and there was another thing with his mother at a basketball game where it was like, he, I think he had a sibling behind or like somebody behind his mother at a basketball game was heckling her daughter or his sister or something who was playing. And then John Morant shows up like seven or eight people and like handles the situation essentially. And I just think to myself, man, like. This is really not a good look for John Morant. It's not a good look for the league. Uh, it makes the league look like they employ, you know, like gangsters and shit. And they don't want that image. I promise you, the league does not want that image. Okay? They're fine with every other image. But they don't want to be known as like an organization that, you know, hires criminals to play fucking basketball. Okay? They don't want to be known as that. Um, you know, when you are the face of a franchise and when you are... A superstar player like John Morant, I, I'll put him in that conversation. I think he's superstar. If, if not, he's borderline superstar. When you are the super uh, a superstar player in the NBA, like you kind of gotta play your hand correctly and fall in line with what the league wants. Um, the only player I think who gets the opportunity to even slightly step outside of those uh, boundaries is LeBron James, and John Morant is not LeBron James. Okay, so. I, I think Adam Silver is really going to drop the hammer on John Morant. I, I think John Morant's going to maybe get suspended for the entire year. They're going to fine him an ass ton of money. Shit, they might even make him do community service. I, I don't know. I don't know if they can force him to do that. But I do know the Players Association uh, is on Adam Silver's side. He did say that they... Uh, the 
the NBA and the Players Association came to an agreement on what they think is fair. Um, and we do know, I think Chris Paul um, is the president of the, I think it's the president of the Players Union or the Players Association, one of the two. But I do know Chris Paul was involved. I think Jalen Brown was involved as well from the Boston Celtics because he's supposed to be a part of that as well. Um, I I don't think Ja Morant is going to get a slap on the wrist this time. He did a great job at fooling everybody the first time. Oh, yeah, like, I got my help. I did this. I did that. Listen, man, he spent like 10 days or 15 days in a fucking facility. Uh, it, 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 I promise you it did nothing, okay? 10 to 15 days does nothing for somebody, okay? For, for him, it was a mini vacation. So, all I'm saying is, from this point forward... Ja Morant is going to need to be very careful about how he plays his hand. And I would argue that his parents need to, like, get out of his life. And I, I know that's a big ask, and, like, his friends aren't the greatest influence. Um, the guy that he hangs out with, his last name is Pac, I believe. Um, he s- seems to get Ja in a lot of trouble, so, like, his best friend gets him in a lot of trouble. His father's not really being a father, it seems, and his mother's getting him in trouble. So, like, his friend and his mother appear to be the problem in the picture. And that is the most astonishing thing to me about this, is the idea that his mother, of all people, puts him in these situations. Because it's like, she had a problem with a Foot Locker employee, and she calls her son to handle it. I'm like, you you can't, you're a grown-ass woman, and you can't handle a Foot Locker employee? Like, (coughs) I just, I really don't understand it. I don't understand why she would ever put her son in a situation to even be in that situation, but I don't know, man. I I just I think John Morant's gonna have to play it very close to the vest now uh, for a while, okay, and, and probably the rest of his NBA career. Um, you know, fool me once, you know, shame on you. Fool fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times. Well, what's the song in? Uh, the the song uh, that J. Cole has in No Role Models. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, can't put the blame on you. Fool me three times, fuck the peace signs. Load the chopper, let it rain on you. It's just like, I, I, I just, I don't know, man. I, I just think this isn't going to be good. And it's sad because John Morant is one of my favorite players to watch. And... After hearing all this, it's kind of like, do I really want to support him? Like, I was going to buy a John Morant jersey. Like, that, he was a guy that, like, I liked that much that I was going to buy a John Morant jersey. And now I'm thinking twice about it. Like, do I really want to support this guy? Like, do I really want to walk around with his jersey on where, you know, people will be like, oh, you know, you got the wannabe gangsters jersey on and shit like that. Like, I don't know, man. All I know is all this has kind of deterred me from making that purchase. So, anyway, I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. Tell me what you guys think down below in the comment section down below. A like helps me out. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. I'm the Fast Break Report, and I'm out of this motherfucker. Peace, guys.